Hey guys, it's Walt K4OGO. One antenna I've never built but have always wanted to experiment with was a delta loop. So I, I, I put together, I had some thoughts. I, I thought I would put a delta loop together with a little bit of a twist, a little bit different. Instead of, uh, you know, either the, the what they call the traditional horizontal or the traditional vertical delta loop, I wanted to build one where the base of the triangle was straight up, pure vertical. My thought pattern was, I would build this thing with uh, where the feed point would make the top part of the vertical a quarter wavelength, and then the bottom and the rest of it around would be a, a perfect uh, square, a full wavelength for 10 meters. So I put together some plans and sketched them out, and I kind of shared these a little bit on social media. And that was a mistake. <laughs> I, one thing I can tell you right now, if you, if you want to get some good answers and some bad answers, put them out there and you got to weed through it. I had some really wonderful uh, comments on it and people said, hey, this thing looks really cool. I can't wait to see how it works. And they also had uh, a, a, quite a few people like, this thing won't work. Uh, you, you don't know what you're doing or whatever. So uh, lesson learned. Uh, from now on, I'll keep my uh, ideas somewhat to myself and a, a few treasured few that I really respect and not throw it out there on social media. Big lesson learned there. Anyway, I'm going to put this thing together here. I'm at the, I'm in uh, Portsmouth where I, I live like right across the street over there. This is my harbor, uh, Portsmouth, Virginia, and that's the Norfolk, uh, Norfolk, Virginia right behind me. I'm going to put this thing together with, uh, as I showed you that just in on the sketch and give it a try. I want to see if maybe it'll be a little bi-directional. Maybe I will get some gain in a, in, in the certain direction. I don't know, but we're going to test it out and give it a shot. Stick around. Okay, so here's the antenna. There's the, uh, DX Commander 10 meter pole and uh, I got it pretty s solidly uh, straight on the top. The bottom half of that uh, triangle's got a little sag to it but uh, put it over here. What I tried to do was uh, get the uh, coax away from it with the 4 to 1 unun up there uh, taped to the pole. So there's the 4 to 1 unun coax coming down. As you can see, there's my, uh, we're going to be 20 watts and some QRP. I'm going to try some QRP with it if this thing works as well as I think it will here on 10 meters. But there's the, uh, there it is, the Zygu G90. Up to the 4 to 1 on on. This thing comes over and over to a, there's the shorter pole that I have there. And it just, the soil's a little rough. But that's it. I don't know how well this is showing it. But that's, uh, there is the horizontal delta loop. Let's check SWR. I really want to know, haven't looked at it yet, I really want to know if the feed point impedance there, if uh, the 4 to 1 is going to be the, the answer. And I'm thinking it's somewhere between 1 to 200. The closer to 200, the better, because that 4 to 1 is going to bring me right in. So uh, I'm going to go give it a shot. Check SWR, see if it works, and then we'll get on the air. Well, looks like I nailed the SWR, so it uh, looks like the 4 to 1 unun was definitely the answer. All right, uh, now that we got everything set up, I'm aimed basically directly towards California, that the western United States, California. So let's see uh, if we have some, uh, if we can make some uh, contacts there. So. The broad, the, off the sides of this thing would be Florida to one side, New York to the other. If I make contacts there and start hearing people there, then I know, hey, you know, maybe I'm, I'm omnidirectional, not so much bidirectional. But let's give it a shot. Thanks, November 7 Whiskey. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, WRTC, Oregon. Uh, QSL, name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango, Virginia. For the call, good luck. It's 73 QZ Alpha Delta 5 Extreme Delta. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. This is Melt, Mexico, Indian, Lima Tango, Melt, Texas. Uh, QSL, this is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango in Virginia. Thanks, Walt. Good luck, Alpha Delta 5 Extreme Delta, QZ. CQ 10, CQ November 5, Whiskey, November 5, Whiskey. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. K4OGO, Jeff, Texas. Uh, QSL, this is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango, Virginia. Thanks, QRZ. Wow. BD2DX, Jeff, Texas. 
Good. I love the receive on this antenna so far. It sounds beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, contact. Thank you, contact. Whiskey, Juliet, Zero, Whiskey. Kilo for Oscar, Golf Oscar. For Oscar, Golf Oscar, Randy, North Dakota. Hi, QSL, Walt, Virginia. Hey, Walt, Whiskey, Juliet, Zero, Whiskey, contact. Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL Walt Walt in Virginia. QSL November 9th Radio Victor. Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. For Oscar Golf Oscar Pat Montana. Uh, Walt Virginia. Well, the QSO party convinced me that uh, I was doing pretty well to the West, but I wanted to uh, start moving the thing around a little bit because and see if other directions. Um, this is why I did it with two poles, because I could just take the smaller one and just kind of move around, uh, sink it in the ground, and aim the antenna, you know, somewhat in different direction, bi-directionally. So this is what I started doing and making other contacts. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. I do 5 and 3, 5 and 5, that's 3. I am Tom at 1 and 1, near Anchorage. Uh, QSL, Tom in Anchorage. This is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm 10 watts QRP, 10 watts QRP, and you are 5-7 here. I have Oscar Tango now building 5-5 to 5-7. Uh, my antenna is a delta loop. I'm portable with a delta loop. I built one and I've got it kind of uh, uh, turned sideways. So I have the base of it due vertical straight up and it's kind of shaped like a bow. And right now it is pointed right at you. And doing a great job for 10 watts outstanding. Good combination too. I like to get back to it there, Ralph. I know you're going to hit a lot of me with that signal. You know, NL7A doesn't it? Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt. I'm portable by the water in Norfolk, Virginia. Ah, that's uh, great. I'm also portable uh, by the beach here in Puerto Rico. Uh, I got you at about 57, QSL. Hi, uh, QSL, you're about 57 here as well. I work on, I work uh, portable on the beach all the time here. Right now I'm on the uh, harbor seawall here in the Norfolk, Virginia Harbor. Uh, Roger, Roger, well done. Uh, I'm guessing you're working on a vertical antenna, QSL? Uh, kinda. I just put up the uh, first time I built one. It's a vertical delta loop. I have a delta loop up. Uh, okay, okay. Well, that's working great. I'm uh, working on a. Uh, I'm, I'm, Uh, QSL, QSL. I'm just QRP with 10 watts here, too. I got the Zygu G90 turned down to just 10 watts. Uh, straight, uh, straight. That's uh, doing a great job. QRP, any QRP station. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, QRP. Oscar, Golf Oscar, go ahead. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. The name here is Walt. Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango in Virginia. 10 watts portable, QRP. Uh, the 10 watts there. Uh, can you give your uh, name again, please? Name and state again? Yeah, the name is Walt. Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. The state is Virginia. Oh, that's awesome. Getting 10 watts from Virginia to here. Uh, you're quite readable. Probably like a 5 and 4 here. Uh, this is Dave in Saskatchewan. Dear Kilo, good luck. 7 3. Thank you. 7 3. Kilo 4, Oscar. Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar. Golf, Oscar. Roger. Uh, QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango, 10 watts portable QRP in Virginia. I watch your video on the YouTube. <laughs> I, YouTube I watch your video YouTube. You are one, one four wave antenna and, uh, and uh, I think we are at your situation. So, uh, can you count signal here until the evening? You're 5 by 6 here in Sao Paulo. My name is Salsa, Roger. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo Victor 7, Delta X-Ray, Jason, Whiskey Alpha. QSL, Walt, Virginia, QRP. Ooh, thanks for QRP. And 
uh, uh, nice going, Walt. You're uh, five four five five on that one. So uh, good signal from Virginia. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Just portable here with the Delta Loop and ten watts. Thank you so much. Seventy three. Yeah, doing good. No change of thing. Seven three KV seven DX. You are that. The Oscar Golf Oscar. Yes, Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscar. It's Walt in uh, Virginia. I'm QRP. Okay, uh, Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscar Walt in Virginia, the QRP station. Uh, you've got a good signal, five seven fifty seven into uh, Colorado. Uh, name is Dustin. QSL Dustin, I also heard that you're streaming. Uh, I'm actually putting together a video. I'm a YouTuber myself, so I, I'll go have a look at it. If you don't mind, I might take a clip of that. Hey, absolutely. Absolutely, it's the Oscar Golf Oscar. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. It's Walt in uh, Virginia. I'm QRP. Okay, uh, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, Walt in Virginia, the QRP station. Uh, you've got a good signal, 5757 into uh, Colorado. Uh, name is Dustin. QSL, Dustin, I also heard that you're streaming. Uh, I'm actually putting together a video. I'm a YouTuber myself. So I, I'll go have a look at it. If you don't mind, I might take a clip of that. Hey, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a live stream right now. Well, that was fun. And that's a pretty uh, cool antenna. Uh, you know, I moved it around. It wasn't as hard to move as I thought it would be. The ground's a little, a little tough here, kind of hard to dig down into. But um, one thing I, I noticed, uh, what it seemed like to me, was it, it's bi-directional, very strong in a bi-directional uh, way. I mean, I, just about all the contacts I made as I moved the antenna around, um, uh, the the they were forward when I was going to like Alaska. I was aimed right at Alaska when I did that. And then um, the uh, Brazil and the uh, Puerto Rico QSOs that I had were off the backside. Uh, and I got pretty good signal reports, but it was it was in line though with the with the Delta Loop itself. So it does kind of uh, show that it is kind of a bi-directional, or at least I was getting my uh, better contacts off of it in a bi-directional pattern. Never really got uh, Florida or New York. Didn't hardly even hear them, which is kind of strange because when I'm down here with a vertical uh massachusetts new england and new york and then especially florida i'm usually flooded with florida because i'm, I'm not you know i'm just up the coast from them and i seem to be in a perfect uh skip land skip area for uh, florida on 10 meters so i did not didn't even hear them but i never really pointed the antenna down that way towards florida maybe a close when i was uh kind of aiming over towards brazil but i was still aiming a little east of florida when i did that so um yeah pretty cool um i i i've got i learned a few lessons here i know one thing this thing is a great receive antenna i don't know if it was the band or whatever but uh, at times it was real quiet and uh, the antenna had you know i'm happy with it it was it was pretty cool and it wasn't that hard uh to move around i'll be honest with you i wrestled with it a little bit when i first set it up but it was the first time i've ever set it up and done this i will definitely uh experiment more with delta loops maybe in different configurations or, or what have you but but it was really cool so um you know the, the the big thing that i got the most satisfaction out of is when i uh when i first cut the radio on and hit the swr and it was flatline i never ever used uh the atu not one time on any of those qsos so that was pretty cool so i got i nailed it the impedance must have been somewhere near 200 uh ohms there for that because that four to one was uh exactly what i needed to use the four to one was magic man it was it was money and worked well so um you know i it was uh like I said, when I put this thing up and was asking for advice for people, I had somebody even told me, you don't need an, you don't need that 50 ohms at the feed point. And I knew that was wrong. I just absolutely knew it was wrong. I kind of thought it would be somewhere around 100, 120, something in that area. I actually had a, a, a really good friend model it, and he said it was a little over 100, which was cool. You know, but one thing about models, they're, they're, they're somewhat accurate, but they're not dead on. And, you know, with that little bit of a droop I had on the bottom of the delta, who knows the height, the, the location there's a lot of things uh you know the, the length of the coax a lot of things that weren't factored in there that probably uh you know i i, I guess i lucked out it was money to to, to to just uh you know sometimes it's good to just be lucky and, and i was definitely lucky there but um cool antenna man it was the first time i've used a delta loop and uh it won't be the last because uh that was uh, that was a lot of fun and i tell you when it when the uh i first got on that uh, the north american cuso party man it was like i, I had the thing aimed west and it was like like uh, you know, just like shooting fish in a barrel, man. I was like, bam, bam, bam. So that's when I decided to move the antenna around a little bit, and I figured for the rest of the day, as good as I was doing, 
I, I would just go down to 10 watts and just work QRP the whole time. And that's basically what I did. Uh, my best calls were, were all 10 watts. So I can only imagine if I'd have kept it up at 20, it probably would have been even better. But I got excellent signal reports at 10 watts QRP. So really pleased with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, get out and try this antenna. Give it a whirl, man. This, this was, a. Uh, I mean, I, it, it probably cost me all of uh, 10 US dollars to build the entire thing. I don't know. The end on there was, uh, I, I, I've had that, the L4 to 1 that I had already. That was I don't know, like $39 or, or 40 bucks when I bought it. But um, yeah, it was uh, not that hard to build and, uh, and get up. Um, and, uh, and it worked very, very well. I'll, um, I'll try to see if I can put a link to the uh, sketch that I did uh, somehow. Maybe I can link you over to my, um, my uh, Facebook page. I have a, a page, a Coastal Ways and Wires page. You can link over to that and take a peek at the, um, at the diagram itself and, and take a peek out of it. And, and if you're interested in building this thing, because I'll be honest with you, of all the antennas I've ever built that are just dreamt up and I really I mean this isn't my invention although I've never seen anyone do it this way um, this one I'm, I'm, I'm pleased I mean it was nice when you you have an idea and and you and you and you kind of put it all together and it works this was an idea that I had that works maybe we'll call this the uh, k4ogo Delta loop I don't know a little a uh, little much of me anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video uh, please like and subscribe and until next time I'm Walt k4ogo 73 my friends see you soon Thank you.